During the trade deadline, the Dodgers failed to pick up either of the two big names they were going after, Justin Verlander and Eduardo Rodriguez. Verlander was ultimately sent to the Astros, and in a stunning development, Eduardo Rodriguez was set to go to LA, but then nixed the trade using his no-trade clause. It may be the first recorded instance of a player wanting to stay in Detroit instead of going to LA, never mind the fact that he was going from a bad team to a contender. Whatever his reason, which was probably blackmail, he's still in Detroit and the Dodgers had to look elsewhere. Instead of Rodriguez or Verlander, the Dodgers ended up acquiring Ryan Yarbrough, which may be a better pickup than people realize. Yarbrough spent the first five years of his career in Tampa Bay, going back and forth as a starter and reliever while sitting with a mid-4 ERA. He then joined the Kansas City Royals where he fit in the exact same role, which will likely persist with his time in LA. That being said, the Dodgers picked up Yarbrough amidst one of the better stretches of his career. After getting hit in the head on a 106 mile per hour line drive back in May, Yarbrough returned in July and has been fantastic since his return. In the four starts in July, Yarbrough has held opposing teams with just one earned run in three of the four outings. He went six complete innings in three of those games, and with the fourth being a three run outing in five and two thirds innings of work. This comes out to a 2.19 ERA for the month, and he's lowered his ERA, which was 7.4 going into May, all the way down to 4.24 when he got traded. A hot hand like this is exactly what the Dodgers were looking for. Someone who can slot in as a starter while the rotation deals with injuries, and then come in as a reliever as necessary. As well as his pitching, Yarbrough has one advantage the Dodgers wouldn't get from Rodriguez or Verlander. He's cheap. With the base salary of just $3 million, his contract is a fraction of the cost of the other names the Dodgers were aiming for. With another year of arbitration on his deal and the Otani sweepstake set to begin in the offseason, you could argue this was the best option of the three possible. And aside from Eduardo Rodriguez, who wouldn't want to go from a bottom five team to the National League West leading Dodgers? It's a great fit, and Yarbrough could become one of the key figures in a playoff run as the Dodgers pitching has been a glaring red flag as opposed to previous seasons. Let me know what you think of the deal. As a Dodgers fan, I'm pretty optimistic.